Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to download a model from Polygon.com, bring it into Blender using the Append feature, position the model correctly in our scene, and then finally render it out with cycles. Okay, so before jumping over to Blender, we're going to need to download one of these models. Now currently, uh, because the models are still in beta, um, they're listed under Textures, Models Beta here. Uh, they will get their own menu category soon enough, I imagine. Um, and the one I'm going to bring into Blender today is this one, Food Platter 002. Now, when you come to download, you'll notice there's a few options. Um, first, the application. Um, by default, it's set to 3ds Max. Then the renderer, where you can choose from the different uh, rendering engines available. And you can also override the, the uh, texture size if you need a higher res texture to, to zoom in a bit closer. But by default, we're going to leave that as it is. What I will do, obviously, is change it over to Blender, and you can see the render has changed to Cycles. Then I'll hit Download. Well, I'm not going to because I've already downloaded it and placed it in a directory on my hard drive, um, but that's what you do at this point. So let's jump over to Blender and see how we use it. Now, this is the scene we'll be working with. It's uh, quite a simple scene, just some kitchen countertops and some HDR lighting and a camera. So let's append that model into our scene. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and then go to File, Append. And navigate to where I've got my models stored, which in my case is here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, once you've found the blend file, just go into the group, select the group and append. And you can see if I press an unpad and ignore, it will uh, zoom in on the impended model and you can see that it's all there. One thing I will do, I'm gonna press Z to jump into wireframe mode, and then shift right click this bottom wooden platter thing. Um, and that will allow me to press Control P and parent all of these objects to that platter. So now I only have to grab that and it will take the, uh, the rest of the objects with us, which is good. So let's jump over to top view by pressing numpad seven just going to press G to grab and move it roughly where we want it to go, somewhere about there. Then I'm going to press numpad 0 and in fact now I'll press numpad 1 so we can align this vertically. Press G to grab it up the Z axis and place it about there. And there we go, so that's, that's about where we want it. And now I've already brought in a bunch of other models. Um, but before I do that, I'll just go over to rendered mode for a second so we can see that all of the materials have been brought in, the, the objects are perfectly ready for, for rendering, which is great. So let's just bring in the other models in the scene, which I've hidden away on that layer. And now obviously we need to reposition this. There we go. Yeah, that looks about right. I'm just going to slightly reposition the camera as well. I'm not quite sure why it was so zoomed in. I'll just rotate it up a little bit. There we go. Just set up the shot that you want, which in my case is about uh, that. And then it's time to hit render. And there we go, no time at all, we have our finished render. Um, as you can see, you can really populate a uh, an architectural scene really, really quickly with these with these kitchen models, they are, they are great. So in summary, we've downloaded a model from polygon.com, appended it into Blender, um, positioned it correctly in our scene to match the, uh, the other items in there, and then rendered it out with cycles.